Hi, Rob here from the team Invisible Body. Here's a tip for using Atlas for ZSpace. The ZSpace Activities Library includes an activity called Muscular and Skeletal Interactions. Teachers will have this guide and students will have this worksheet. The goal of this lesson is for students to understand how the skeletal and muscular systems interact with each other to ensure the movement of the limbs. Before students dive into the lesson, use Atlas on ZSpace to give a quick introduction on the muscle and bone interaction present in the knee. Under the main menu, access the skeletal systems views and select the full skeleton tile. Use this model to provide an overview on the bones that ensure leg movement such as the tibia, the fibula, the femur, and the kneecap. At this point, you can introduce the muscular system by accessing the systems tile on the top right corner and selecting the muscular system. In order to get a better view of the muscles involved in knee flexion, use the hide or fade other muscles. I'm removing the gluteus maximus tensor fascia lata, and the adductor magnus. If you accidentally hide an important structure, don't worry. Under the toolbar, select History and simply undo. Now that you've combined both the skeletal and muscular systems together, you're ready to show how they connect. Select the rectus femoris muscle, and then select the Explore Muscle option. The muscle's attachment to the bone are represented by the red pins indicating origin and the blue pins that indicate insertion. Zoom in and select the specific pin to see the attachment point listed. For the rectus femoris, you can show the students that it has two origin points one connected to the ilium and the other to the pubis, and one insertion point connected to the kneecap. One final great feature to show, knee extension in 3D interactive action. Now your students are ready to complete the muscular and skeletal system worksheet. Have fun!